Hi, everyone. Welcome to episode 99. This is a special episode where I'm going to lead a meditation all about stepping into your soul's spotlight. My name is Lisa Espinosa, and I'm a spiritual career coach and priestess. And what I do is I help my students, I help my clients, I help anyone who's drawn to my work to follow their soul's guidance every day. Not just, sorry, there is a message coming. <laughs> Not just when things are going well or when things are in crisis, but every day throughout the day to follow your soul's guidance and share your unique soul's gifts with the world while creating a soul-led life. So that's really what I support my clients with. And so today, as many of you know, I'm pre-recording this. Usually these are live because as you watch this, I am in Ireland and I'm so excited to be there. But I, I really wanted you to have this time <clears throat> to integrate some of the last podcast episodes I've done. And if you missed episode 98, you can always go back and watch it. I talked all about visibility and I've been getting a lot of feedback about that and questions about that and just people really um, sharing how they recognize that there are certain fears or self-judgments that are keeping them from fully showing themselves to the world. Maybe they're not hiding, but they're like kind of like peeking out and then coming back, right? Almost like that image of like, you're saying, I want to open the door. I want all these people to find me so I can share my gifts, so I can share my medicine with others. But at the same time, you're closing the door saying, but I'm not ready or, but I'm afraid I'll make a mistake or they're going to reject me or they're going to judge me or I'm not perfect yet. So how could I help others? There's all these reasons. And so I wanted to create today to lead a special meditation to go just a little bit deeper. I know usually in each episode I end with a short meditation, but today it's going to be all meditation just to uh, inner journey to help you to really connect with your soul and receive guidance about what is the next step of your visibility journey and also to receive healing because our soul is always available to, to send healing to us. And it's energetic and spiritual, but also your soul might magnetize people into your life that can help and support you. So as I said, this is episode 99, and I am so excited. We're on our way to episode 100. I will write in the comments if you're not part of my newsletter and want to sign up, I'll put the link there because I'm planning just a special something for the 100th episode in September. And also, you might know, I offer a free breakthrough consultation, and I'll put the link to that as well. And that's an opportunity to connect with me, we do it over Zoom, and for me to help you get clarity on what it is that's blocking you from fully following your soul every day throughout the day and sharing the gifts you came here to share with the world and sharing them in a way that blesses you, in a way that has impact, but also brings you joy and blessings, right? Not with codependency, not with like hustle or having to like sacrifice everything. That was the old paradigm. We're here birthing a new one. All right. So without further ado, I did not write a script. I was just really guided to like come in here and just like just allow my soul and the souls of everyone who will be drawn to this to co-create this inner journey. So a couple of things before we begin. I want to remind you that your soul is so eager to talk to you always. There isn't anything special you need to do. You don't need to prove yourself. You don't need to be, you know, lose weight or heal all your addictions. Or and when I say addictions, I mean, we all have some sort of addiction. We all have what are called soft addictions, right? Whether it's addiction to work or addiction to sugar or addiction to people pleasing, we all have some version of it that we're healing. So, but wherever you are in your journey, whether you feel amazing about yourself right now or you're feeling like, oh, I still have so much to heal, your soul loves you in this moment and your soul always wants to communicate with you. So when I'm doing the inner journey, I probably will guide you to ask your soul certain questions. And I want to remind you, when you ask those questions, your soul always answers you. But sometimes, for many different reasons, your soul 
you can't hear the answer right away, right? Either you're so eager or you doubt yourself and you're like, ah, I don't know if I heard it, I'm not sure. Or maybe your soul recognizes, you know what? I'm gonna put the answer in her heart and or his heart or their heart. And then later when she's taking a shower, when she's sweeping, she's gonna hear the answer then. So when I guide you to ask your soul questions, please, I invite you to let go of any pressure. If you don't hear anything, that's perfectly fine and normal. If you start to feel sensations, that's perfectly fine and normal. Just allow whatever happens to happen. This will be recorded so you can always come back and listen to it. You can also pause it if I'm asking questions for your soul and you're guided to pause and just really go inside and listen and journal. Feel free to do that. And of course, this is all a jump start for you to do your own inner journeys with your soul, right? Okay, so let's go ahead and start. So I invite you to close your eyes and take some nice cleansing breaths. And as you do that, I invite you to imagine that at your heart center, you turn on a magnet. And this magnet is magnetizing back to you all of your energy, all of your power, if you've given your power away to anyone or any situation, is magnetizing back to you all of your parts. If any parts of you, you know, inner child parts or other parts are scattered about, we're welcoming them back home to you. And simultaneously, bring your awareness to your hips and visualize these beautiful roots of light going down your legs and out the bottoms of your feet deep into the earth. And these roots are now releasing anything that's unnecessary, anything that could get in the way of you fully receiving your soul's love and guidance. And you don't need to control this. Just know that it is happening organically as you set the intention for it to happen. And now visualize that through these roots, you're breathing in this beautiful energy of alignment, of flow, of support, of clarity. And imagine it's flowing up the roots, up the layers of the earth, up the bottoms of your feet, up your legs, up your back, the back of your neck, the crown of your head, and then you bring your awareness back to your heart. So you can bring the palms of your hands over your heart as I'm doing if you want to look like this. And you can stay like this or you can just do it for a moment and then relax your hands. So whatever feels right. And then in your heart space, imagine a beautiful flame, a beautiful blue flame today, an aquamarine blue flame. And this blue flame is has this interesting energy, like this beautiful cooling energy, like a beautiful spring breeze. And what it's doing is it's clearing any heaviness from your heart. It's clearing any irritation. That's why it's cool. It's clearing irritation. And again, you don't have to analyze, just allow it to happen. Maybe you know what the irritation is, or maybe you don't, that is fine. And as you keep breathing, you just feel your heart space opening as it receives that cooling flame. It's opening that, as that irritation gets dissolved, you feel your heart center and then that light turns into this beautiful pearlescent white light, that flame. And now it's emanating out of your heart in front of you. And with your inner vision, now you see this beautiful golden path. And you're standing on this golden path. And as you stand on this golden path, you feel very safe you feel very like right, like you know, oh, I belong on this path. 
And as you start to get accustomed to this beautiful pearlescent white light, you recognize that you're in an auditorium. You see all of these seats and you see that you're walking on this path that's heading right towards the stage. And you're very compelled to walk towards the stage. And as you walk towards the stage, you see the steps that like you go up to the stage and you walk up the steps and you walk right to the center of the stage. And at the center of the stage is a beautiful golden spotlight. And you're just standing there looking out at the seats that right now are empty. You just see this empty stadium, this empty auditorium. And it's so beautiful. And you're standing there in the spotlight. And you feel so comfortable. And it feels right. And then you start to hear a sound from above you and you look up and you start to notice that something is coming down, descending, and then you realize it's a microphone. It's a beautiful golden microphone. It's like a mic drop right in front. It comes like right perfect distance in front of you, right around your mouth in front. And this is your beautiful golden microphone that your soul is giving you. Your soul is saying, you have a message that is here for the world. Now, it might be in verbal words. It might be in your writing. It might be through your art. It might be through a healing modality. It might be through how you listen to others and interact. It'll look different for each of you. But in this moment, your soul is showing you this microphone that's amplifying your voice and this spotlight that makes it easy for people to find you. And as you stand there, perhaps you start to notice that there are some fears that come up. And of course, your soul understands so deeply. And so let your soul know what fear comes up as you stand on this spotlight, in this spotlight, with this beautiful microphone that's been placed in front of you. What is the fear that is holding you back the most in this moment? So this is a question you're asking your soul. What is a fear, beautiful soul? What is the fear? that is holding me back the most in this moment. And you hear that, you receive that answer. Whether you receive it as energy or you actually hear the words right now, it doesn't matter. You will become aware of it at just the right time. And then if you are willing to heal this fear, Say, beautiful soul, help me. Help me heal this fear. Send me your healing light. And as you say that, there is this waterfall of light that's cascading down as you're being bathed and this fear is being dissolved. And of course, if there's more healing to be done, your soul's like, I'm going to send you the people. I'm going to send you the resources sources, the books, the songs, the music, the tools, whatever you need to heal this. And your soul is also saying it is also healed. An important part of healing this is showing up as it is being healed. So if there is a thought or a belief that, oh, I have to heal this before I can move forward, your soul is saying that is not true. That is the ego speaking, the ego that always wants to delay your soul is saying, you are ready now as you heal. And so receive that blessing in your heart. Receive that healing. And if there are any parts that are still scared, that is absolutely fine. Send them so much love and compassion. 
Maybe you invite an ascended master like Mother Mary or Kuan Yin to be here with those parts that are a little nervous or scared. And so again, your soul's directing you to look at the auditorium. And as you look at the auditorium, you start to notice these like ushers, right? That are, you know, how when you go to a play or a musical, there's these ushers that are like, welcome, let me take you to your seat. And you start to notice that now the auditorium is filled with these ushers and you're like, oh, that's nice, there's ushers. And then you recognize these ushers are angels. They're ascended masters, divine beings that are lovingly welcoming all the people you are here to serve and help. Even if you're here to help animals, there's a person that's connected to the animal that will be supported by that. So you start to notice that there's people coming in and these angels and these ascended masters, you know, there's green Tara, there's Hathor, you know, there's ascended master Jesus, and they're just welcoming these people in, reassuring them. You know, those are the best ushers that are like, oh my gosh, we're so glad you're here. You made it. You're in for such a treat. And so let them welcome all these people that are filling this auditorium. And some of these people are people you've already helped in the past, maybe even past lifetimes. And some of these are people that are in your orbit now that are tentatively connecting with you. Like, oh, could she be the one? Could he be the one? Could they be the one that's here to help me? And then there's people you haven't even met yet, but they are looking for you. And so these ascended masters and angels are welcoming them and bringing them to their seats. And this auditorium is getting filled up. And you are in your soul spotlight. So you feel maybe there's some parts that are getting nervous. Send them love and compassion. But then also you you recognize, oh, I'm totally ready to help these people. There's nothing special really that I need to do. I just need to be myself. I just need to be authentically who I am in this moment. And as they see me in my authenticity, as they look at you, you start to notice that they're starting to glow from within. There's nothing they want from you. You are not giving them anything. You are just radiating who you are. You are an example. You are mirroring back to them who they are. Yes, perhaps there's teachings you can share with them, but it's all so that they can remember their light and so notice that as they're there and they're looking at you and then suddenly they're like, they look down at their chest and they're like, oh my gosh, my heart is lit up. And you see like, oh my gosh, all of their hearts are lit up. And these ascended masters and angels are just watching with so much joy. And you recognize that you can help so many people and it doesn't have to be depleting, exhausting, it's just like, oh, I'm just helping them remember who they are. And as, as they remember who they are, I'm remembering more of who I am. And as that happens, and I keep saying yes to being in my soul spotlight, this auditorium grows because my soul knows, oh, your capacity has increased. And so just let yourself be with this image, these beautiful, beautiful souls that were led to you, being lit up, remembering who they are. These beautiful ascended masters and angels saying, we've got you. We're helping to bring these people to you. And if there's any heaviness that these people have to release, their angels, their guides are helping to release that. That's why the ascended masters, that's why the guardian angels always say, we do the heavy lifting. You just show up and be you. You be you. <laughs> and so as they are all there, this microphone is still in front of you. And just notice, what message do you have for them? Maybe it's a word. Maybe it's a sentence. Maybe it's a symbol. Maybe it's an image. Maybe it's a song. 
Maybe it's a tone. Just let it flow out of you. And again, if you don't hear it in this moment, it's okay. It'll be clear to you at the perfect time. But just imagine you open your mouth and whatever is meant to come out comes out. And as it does, everybody applauds. Like, oh my gosh, yes. And so you recognize that you are the safest in your soul spotlight. You are the safest when you are seen. And just ask your beautiful soul, is there anything else you want me to know or you want me to see? And with that, you come back into your space, wherever you are, in your house, in your office. Take a few deep breaths. And we ask your soul to help you integrate this activation, this healing across all four levels of your being, physical, mental, emotional, spiritual, across all dimensions of time. Take some deep breaths, stretch. I'm going to drink a little water. I thought that was so beautiful. I almost started crying when the Ascendant Masters and the Guardian Angels were bringing everybody in. Like I said, I didn't write a script or anything. It's just that's what came. How beautiful is that? And what came to me is like sometimes we imagine like being on a stage and people throwing tomatoes at us or like worse things. And we might have had that experience or the equivalent of that, right, symbolically. But our soul is really reassuring us that this is where you belong. You belong in the spotlight of your soul. So I would love to hear in the comments if you want to share anything about what came up, what you noticed, what was surprising, what message came out of your mouth. I'm going to do this meditation again and be like, what came out of my mouth? What did I say? Who were? I really want to do it myself and like connect with who are the people in the audience. I was so touched by that. And so I'm just going to pull a guardian angel card before we end. Let's see what is the final message about this. Oh, two final messages. Higher purpose. Your inner light is a spark of galactic consciousness, a portal to higher dimensions. You are more than a physical being. You're a cosmic soul with a purpose. So look at this angel. Higher purpose. And then you got the next step. Be patient as you release old energy from your energetic field. You're shifting gears to a higher plane and it brings fatigue and heaviness before the outdated vibrations are set free and dissolved. So that's what this meditation and others that you do when you, when you meditate on your own, that's what's happening. Let the old images dissolve, right? Let the old fears dissolve. Let the old worries, whatever they are, when you're on that stage, maybe it's like, they're not going to like me. They're going to reject me. They're going to throw stuff at me or they're all going to smother me and want everything from me. Just notice what is the fear for you? And you're, and this is what it's saying. You have a higher purpose. You are meant to be in the spotlight. And this saying, the next step will be revealed. Let everything from the past be released, that heaviness be released. And then you're going to rise up like this beautiful angel of light. All right. Thank you so much, everyone. I can't wait to reconnect with you. I am sure I'm having a grand old time in, in Ireland and doing so much integration and healing. And please know that I am sending you so much love and so many prayers as I walk the sacred land there. All right. Bye, everyone.